Less than 24 hours ago, Nintendo dropped the 2024 Chill Season trailer. And in my opinion, this has been the best season trailer that we've gotten so far. It's kind of funny because I thought last season's trailer was probably the worst one that we've gotten so far. So to go from a lackluster trailer to an incredible one is pretty interesting. Anyway, as usual, it's time to go over the important stuff and give my thoughts. As always, if you enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, because we're getting closer and closer to 30,000 subscribers. So first, I guess I'll talk about the maps. We have a brand new stage called Robo Ramen, which appears to be some kind of like massive mall food court thing. We got some good looks at the map's layout, and I think the devs are learning. This map definitely seems less narrow than some of the other original Splatoon 3 maps that we've gotten, and I see quite a few paintable walls here as well. Not to mention this map has some interesting verticality going on, so I'll be very curious to see how this actually feels in game. Of course, we also got the return of Bluefin Depot, which is the exact map that I wanted to come back, so I'm really happy about that. It's kind of funny, because when I think back to Splatoon 1, I don't remember liking Bluefin that much, but for some reason I just really wanted it to come back. It does seem that they removed a route on the side of the map, but that could just be a turf war only kind of thing, so we'll have to wait and see. They also added moving platforms in this section, but what's cool is that they don't seem to be on a timer, but rather they just move up when you step on them, and as soon as you step off, they fall back down. That's pretty neat. I think what most people are looking forward to from this trailer are the new specials. I'm saying specials because even though the trailer only showed off one, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be two. They added two the last time they added new specials. One was brand new and one was a reworked returning special. So I think it's safe to assume that'll happen again. But what could it be though? Hmm, Splashdown Royale perhaps? Just want to note that it's possible the other special could have been revealed on Twitter by the time you guys are seeing this video. If it has, I'll be sure to make a pinned comment. Anyway though, the special that they did show in the trailer was a brand new one, called the Splatter Color Screen. This is something that we've never seen before in a Splatoon game. You throw up this moving smoke screen kind of thing, and if your opponents touch it, their color saturation gets altered, as you can see in the footage. Also, the wall that goes up does just like obstruct vision, which is definitely a nerf to longer ranged weapons. I think this concept is very interesting. Again, it's something that we've never really seen in Splatoon before, so I'm not sure what to expect. The changing your saturation thing is pretty odd, but I do think it fits the wackiness of Splatoon, so I'm open to it. As with every new season, there are new kits. This trailer only shows off eight, I'm hoping that's not all because they didn't show the table turf cards, but given their track record, 8 new kits seems to be right on par. We have new kits for the normal Blaster, S-Blast, Undercover Brella, Reflux, Splatana Stamper, Painbrush, Squeezer, and Splat Duelies. You guys already know, I'm most hyped about the Empery Splat Duelies finally arriving. While I don't normally play Splat Duelies, I do think they're a good weapon, and if this gets Inkjet or another good special, I do plan on using it quite a bit. There are some very important weapons getting new kits this time around, and I think that makes it a little more exciting. There's a ton of speculation going on right now about which weapon has what kit, and I'm not going to get super deep into that right now, but I will go over the really important ones that we know. It's confirmed that Empery Splat Duelies have Curling Bomb, which is fine. I wanted it to have Burst Bomb, but again, if this thing just gets Inkjet or something else that's good, this weapon is still going to be amazing. The S-Blast has Burst Bomb, which is absolutely insane. We'll have to wait and see what special it has, but Burst is quite literally the best sub that S-Blast could have gotten. I feel like we'll be seeing a lot more of this weapon now that it has a decent kit. The new Undercover Brella has the Splatter Color Screen, which I think does suit it quite well. It also seems to have Torpedo again, so I think this is the new Conjure from Splatoon 2, just with a new defensive special. Who knows, if the screen turns out to be powerful, we could see an Undercover Brella meta. So that's pretty much all the stuff that I wanted to talk about. There are some short clips of Salmon Run features in the trailer. We see a few shots of a new King Salmonid, and it's also confirmed that the next big run will take place on Barnacle and Dime. Overall, I'm very excited for this new season. I can't wait to use the M parries, play on Bluefin Depot again, try out the new specials, and who knows what else the devs have in store. Before you guys go, do me a favor and comment what you thought of the Chill Season trailer. Do you think it was good as well, or are you disappointed? Let me know your thoughts down below. 
Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all have a great day.